Hello again. Today is still Tuesday, the 3rd of uh, July. It is 12.25. And we're going to do a second taping today. Uh, it's going to be back on the keywords that I have collected over the years. And I'm going to review them with you along with some scripture. Uh, we read out on Matthews, uh, <clears throat> 20, uh, Matthews 11 couple of days ago but this particular page has three verses on Matthew that I'm just going to share with you and then we're just going to keep going straight away Matthew 11 17 these notes I took on June 14 2016 it was a Tuesday at 12 17 p.m. Matthew 11 17 says all uppercase lettering have moaned unto you, and ye have not laminated. <clears throat> 18, Matthew 11, 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said he had a devil. And John was a peculiar one, as most of the people of God, or the servants of God, are peculiar ones. And he was so peculiar that he didn't dress in comfortable cotton um, linen like most of us uh, he actually wore camel skin and he didn't eat beef and lamb like most of the biblical um, people consumed he had uh, honey and locust combined and that was his meal and so he was very peculiar he did not drink um, he 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 did not eat normal stuff like us and but still in the biblical days he was called a devil okay so it says here this is our lord speaking about um uh, his cousin i'm gonna go back a little bit to matthew 11 and read it from there uh, Matthew 11, 11, in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Matthew eleven twelve, which is blue for salvation. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force. And we're, we're suffering violence now, much greater than in the biblical time. And it is taking, it's taking this world by force. By force, just just the things that you hear people do, um, they're beheading their mothers, they're uh, killing people and dissembling the bodies. Uh, some of them eat the, the the bodies that they dissemble. Some bury them here and there, toss them. So they're doing all kinds of evil. They're killing their children. They're raping your children. It's just so much evil going on, and that is the reason. Because we are so far away from God, we have come away from Him so far that we have tried to change just about every holy thing God has ordained, including marriage, uh, including our sexes. All of that has a lot to do with what's going on in our world today. But can you tell the world that? Absolutely not. Okay, Matthew eleven thirteen, which is go for prophecy for all the prophets and the law prophesies unto John Matthew eleven fourteen and if ye will receive it this is Elias Elias which was for to come Matthew eleven fifteen he that has ears to hear let him hear um Matthew eleven sixteen which is black for sin but where unto shall I liken the generation it is like unto the children sitting in the market and calling unto their fellow Matthew eleven seventeen and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Matthew eleven eighteen For John came neither eating for or nor drinking, and they say he had a devil. Matthew eleven nineteen The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Behold, a man gutleth and a wine bibber a pipe. So because the Lord sat down with all types of people and ate and drank, and I'm not talking about drinking milk or, or drinking water. When it, when it talks about drinking the Bible, it normally refers to wine. 
Okay, and in the Bible time, when we were much closer to the Lord, it was not a sin to take wine and drink it. But now these holier-than-thou uh, Christians uh, tell you that you are not to drink. And now these holier-than-thou Christians have taken away uh, what is supposed to represent the blood of Christ and replaced it with juice. Well, let me tell you something. On a second return, the Lord will not use grape juice. He will ask for what? Wine. That's what he will ask for. Okay? And if you have none, he will ask you for water. And it will be turned into wine. Alright? So we have just changed. We made the world upside down. And we literally expect for it to work. Okay? So the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Behold, a man gutlereth and a wine bibber. Okay. Um, the next word is pipe, a pipe, inconsistent reactions. Lamity, Matthew eleven seventeen. It's a verb to moan, allow, to wail, to express sorrow for. Be well, just like Jeremiah moaned over Jerusalem in Jeremiah 7, uh, 28 to 34. Christ also moaned over Jerusalem in Luke 19, 41 to 44. Um, Matthew eleven nineteen. 19, we're back here again. Uh, they're accusing our Lord of being a gullet because he had wine. And they also said he was a friend of the publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Yes, he was a friend of the low and the high. He was not a respecter of person. He was a friend of the sinner. Why do you think he was around when they wanted to stone the woman who had had an adulterous relationship? Yes, he was our friend. Matthew eleven twenty. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. In his own city, Nazareth, he could not do many miracles there, because why? Like the way man thinks. I know who you are. I know your mother, your father, your sisters, and your brothers. And because they knew so much, he was not able to do much at all. They knew too much and knew nothing at all. You hear that? They knew too much and still knew nothing at all. Publicans, publicans, Matthew eleven nineteen, 19, Jews engaged in tax collection, tax collecting. Thomas and Matthew, among his uh, 12 disciples, were tax collectors, uh, sinners. Matthew 19, uh, 11, 19, those who are unregenerated, human race, Romans 5, 8, 19 uh, came to call Luke 6 5 32 friend of Luke 7 uh, so the Lord would also choose sinners or heathens which are non-Jews to do his work <clears throat> okay uh, Matthew 10 it talks about Jesus commission and instructs the 12 apostles in the ministry and I have here the names of the 12 apostles. We have Simeon for Peter, number one, Andrew, Peter's brother, Philip, Bartholoma, Thomas, and Matthew, which was the publicans, the tax collectors, Jewish tax collector. We had James, son of Ophias, uh, Labanus, surnamed uh, Talaris, Tadalis, Simeon the Canaanite, Judas Issachar, who betrayed Jesus, John, brother of James, son of Jubilee, and James, son of Jubilee. These are the 12 apostles, the 12 original apostles. Do you know anything? Do you notice anything about these 12 apostles? They're all men. Not infeminate. Men. What's an infeminate? An infeminate, an, an infeminate is a man who has a heavy dose of female characteristic. There was none of them among the 12 apostles. None. No pedophiles. None of that. Okay. Uh, Matthew 10, 5. The 12, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, 
read for discipleship, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritan, enter ye not. So he ordered them not to go into the city of Samaritan, though he had a conversation with the Samaritan woman at the well. The same woman he told that the man you are with is not your husband, and you have how many husbands? Seven. Or well, five or seven or six, he said. And the one you're with is not your husband. So when the disciples came back from fetching food, they found their Lord, their Savior, talking to a Samaritan woman. Okay, like I said, my Lord was not a respecter of person. He was a friend to all those he met. All. Even the woman he called a dog. Okay, Matthew 10, 6. But go rather to the last sheep of the house of Israel, Matthew 10, 7. And this is read for discipleship. And as ye go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, Matthew 8, 8, still read, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. Okay, Matthew 10, 9, still read, Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses. Matthew 10, 10, still read, Nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor ye staffs. For the workman is worthy of his meat. Matthew 11, uh, 10, 11. And in whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy. And these abide till ye go the ten. So whenever, city, whenever they would come into a city, they had to inquire who was worthy because that is where they were supposed to stay. And that is where they were provided for as well. Okay? Um... And uh, Matthew 10 12, 10, 12, also read, And when ye come into a house, salute it. That is in 1 Samuel 25, 6. Uh, salutation, 1 Samuel 25, 6. And thus shall ye say to him that liveth in prosperity, Peace be both to thee, and peace be to thy house, and peace be to all that thou have. That is a salutation. Let me repeat that salutation. Okay? It's written in 1 Samuel 25, 6. And this shall ye say to him that liveth in prosperity. Peace be both to thee. Peace be both to thee. Peace be both to thee. Peace be to thy house. Okay? First you bless the individual. Then you bless the individual house. And then you bless all that he has. This is why it says, peace be both to thee. Peace be both to thee, and peace be both to thy house, and peace be unto all that thy has. So that was the individual, the house of the individual, and all the possession of that individual was blessed. That is a salutation. Peace be both to thee, peace be both to thy house, and peace be both to all that thy has. That is a biblical salutation. And you can use it today. Okay, Matthew, Matthew 10, 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Uh, Matthew 10, 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye, when ye depart out of that house nor city, shake off the dust off your feet. That was an order. Okay, if they will reject it, this is what they had to do. All right, Matthew 10, 15. Verily I say unto you, I shall be more tolerant. It shall be more tolerant for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city who refused to hear the gospel of the Lord. So imagine the wrath we have coming our way. Okay, Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send... You forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as doves. Okay. 
Matthew 10, 17 read, But be, beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council, and they will scorn you in their synagogues. All right. 20, uh, Matthew 10, 18. And ye shall be brought before the governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Matthew 10, 19. But when they deliver you up, Take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. So when you are delivered unto the, the council, you are not to be thinking about what you should say. You are to think nothing, because when your mouth open up, that which what you should say shall come out. That's why it says, at, that's why it says here, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. You should not ponder it in your mouth what you should say. Never. Never. Okay, Matthew 10, 20, still read. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Amen. Amen. Those words didn't come from you. It came from our heavenly father who speaks through you. All right. Um... We're going to stop here um, and continue tomorrow. If I live and nothing happened, we're going to fold this up. Thank you very much for listening to us here at Spiritual Water. My name is Brenda Guerrero, and it is a pleasure, and I love you very much. And as always, may the peace of God be upon you. May the protection of God preserve you. And may the will of God, whatever that might be, come from you. Until the next time. Please enjoy this gorgeous day.